This is Alan Weaver uh, going over some basic things with access for the students. First thing, when you open up a database, make sure you click on the options. This will allow you to do everything if you don't do that. The other thing, too, is that if you have it as a read-only, it will not work. You've got to right-click in the file name if you take it from the network. Enable the content, say OK. We got this database here, and another little thing here. When you look at this thing here, some people um, may get confused. Look at these things. Here. There's different ways you can view these things here. You could filter as, let's say, just queries uh, with the group here. Where you just see one thing. You could say all access objects, which is a good thing. This shows the tables and the queries. You can also go into create a date. Other things here. The book tends to do it in some ways here. My personal preference is to filter by group. Um, on there, I'm just going to check this. And I click on object type. Object type is the best one. That way you get to see that we have five tables, one query on there. So this should help clarify. Next thing that you may need to do, uh, if you're opening up an order, or a table, I should say, and if I double-click on products, this plus here means there's a relationship. This coffee hazelnut here means these are the orders that we have here. I'll just subtract this out. Next thing here, you can filter down. It's not a query. For example, we see different types of categories here. If I click inside premium, I click on the drop down arrow next to selection, I say equals premium, it narrows it down to just four. I go back onto this filtered here, removes that filtering there, and we're back to our 25 records. Let's say we want to find everything that is does not have a discount. I click inside discount here, I click on this selection here does not equal discount, it shows all the other ones that are different th categories, such as premium or house. If I want to sort, I go A to Z. I just click on that, sort so that we have house here, premium there. If I want to bring this back to the original, I click in here. That's it for the basic information, working with the database and filtering. Uh, one thing, even when you filter, it's not a query. A query is where you're saving the information. For example, if I want to find everything that is discounted, I need to do that as a query. I will demonstrate that next. When you are going from one thing to another, always close out. Go here. Um, I drag a column here. Or I sort it, I could say yes. Now, if I want to create a query, I click on create. Book likes to use the query wizard. Click on simple query wizard. And let's just say, again, this warning. Click here. I'm going to do the product. Let's say I'm just going to add a couple of things here. Product ID. Double click. Description cost, brand, year introduced. Go to the next step. Detail, they always want you to do a detail. I go next, and then I could just give this anything. I could just say discounted products. I click on finish. I go over here. It shows everything in here. If I want to find out they're discounted, I have to go into the design view, right-click into here, design view, and then all I have to do is type in discount where it belongs. Shows us one table here on there. And if I type in discount, for example, inside cost, I run it. There's quotes around it. Data mismatch. If you get that, that's an error. I put discount in the wrong place. So I go in here. I have this in brand. I run the query. This is the brand, the discount line in here. This is correct. 
if I need to sort this, let's say, in alphabetical order by product name, I could also click over here to do this. And then I go into the sort, say ascending, run the query. So I've got that with six records.